Okay, YouTuber, it's a real, real quick game of uh, interplanetary I spy going on here. I could keep this real short if I can. Uh, now, this is the source image. It's PIA 19662, okay? And this is a really nice panoramic. This was released a couple of two or three months back. Uh, terrain for crossing near Logan Pass, okay? Now, uh, Obviously, if you're going to download this, you, the, you might think the uh, the TIFF is a bit large, but the, the actual JPEG's pretty good quality, and the foreground details are pretty good in both images, so uh, take your pick there. But I've also got the the ruler version here with uh, some measurements on it, which is really quite useful. And this will show you that actually a lot of these things we're looking at are much smaller than, than most people think they are. Okay. So I'll have links to this below, but all you've got to do is Google that number, uh, PIA19662, and this page will come up that quick. So let's go straight on with it. I will show you uh, the JPEG first with the measurements on, because that loads up quicker. Now you've got these measure guides at the background here. This is obviously closer here, and that's five meters. And this is further away, it's sloping away down and back up again, and is quite a lot further away. So each one of those is a, is a meter. So, and this is even closer again, this ridge here, and these are centimeters. So this is really close up stuff, close up detail. I, I've looked through all these rocks here, I can't find anything much, doesn't mean there isn't anything there. I may not have spotted a uh, something really important, you never know. Um, it's always worth looking through these things in the foreground, you never know what you're gonna find. But what we're looking at today is over here, okay? And judging by the ruler guide, that thing there, which looks like a pillar, uh, is probably about, I would say, about a meter at all, I don't know, because that's further away. So one of those over here, would hmm, you've gotta kind of adjust it. So. You can kind of work it out, but it's only an approximation anyway. And uh, let's have a look at it in here. Now, the thing we're looking at particularly is this thing, which I'll, I'll show you in the in the TIFF image, which is a bit clearer. Here's the TIFF image. You go right into this corner, and we have this large pillar thing, which looks very interesting and may well be part of a building structure. I have showed this in previous videos, but... Then I noticed this thing down here, which I thought, oh, what the hell is that? There's a weird thing here, which looks like it could be part of something, part of a structure, and it's kind of like it's been built or carved. Uh, I'll have a clip of that in at the end. And there's this thing. Now, before we do anything to that, it looks, to me, looks like an animal skull of some sort, uh, with a nose here and some teeth and an eye socket here, and something weird there, which could be an eye or it could be something else, don't know. Uh, now, even though this is a TIFF image, it doesn't look that clear until you actually cut it out and do some bright, you know, brighten it up, play, play with the contrast a bit, as always. Okay, and I've got here, uh, let's have a look, a clip of it, which I've brightened right up and enhanced. And that's what it looks like. And I've carefully highlighted the teeth, what look like teeth, may not be, of course. Now, when I first looked at this, I thought this was an eye, and this was like an eye with the, an eye socket with the eye missing. But it doesn't line up. It doesn't quite make sense to me. Uh, but if you look at it the other way, this may be something growing on this uh, skull, which seems to have some flesh left on it, fleshy material here. And this is the actual eye. That's not an eye at all. And these, this is like an e part of an ear coming down here. That's the top of the head. This is the the, the bridge of the nose here, long nose, like a, almost like a dog, or some kind of similar creature. And the nose here. And teeth here. One, yeah. There's like a, one, two, three, four, five teeth there. Uh, that one looks quite large goes up into the skull here, into the upper mandible. Um, 
So that's how I'm interpreting it, and it does look similar to some of the other animal skulls that I've seen on Mars. But this is quite large. Uh, this is approximately about a, a foot across. It's not as big as it, it seems in the image. Uh, it may be a bit less even, um, but around about 12, 10 or 12 inches, I would say, uh, from end to end. But what is it? Is that an eye? It's got like a little round thing in the middle. Could it be a growth? Now, it is possible um, on Mars, it, with the the barren conditions that there supposedly is on Mars, with lack of there is water there, but most of it's frozen most of the time, but not all of the time. Uh, there would be a, a, a distinct lack of moisture on the surface, so if there was any type of fungi or plants or anything like that, if there, if an animal did die, uh, then it is quite possible that fungi could spores could actually implant themselves on on the, on the skin and then maybe grow. So that this may be some kind of fungus here, fungal growth. I'm kind of guessing really. I'm just trying to use a bit of logic, uh, as usual. Now, on Earth, um, there are many types of fungi that will grow on corpses. Uh, so why not on Mars? Uh, there may be some very, very different types of fungi and plants up there that we have absolutely no idea about as well. So you've got to keep an open mind with these things. And this was weird, this thing here, this rock here. Very strange indeed. <laughs> Don't know what that is. Uh, so there we go. Is it... Uh, let, let me show you the earlier clips of that. I'll show you the raw image here to save going through this at the end. It looks pretty dark. Uh, now I'll brighten it up there. I can see a bit more. And he's starting to see some teeth here. And more detail. And there, I've just gone in with the and highlighted those shadows around the teeth and eye, possible eye socket. So there is some detail to be seen here, but not a great, not a huge amount. Uh, but it's not bad. For a Mars image, this is one of the better ones. Not all of them are terrible. Sometimes they do publish these large format uh, panoramics and they're usually pretty good. And they're the ones to go for. The individual images we get sent down are badly as I always say, they're badly resized and compressed. And uh, they've got the orange and infrared filters over them as well, which make them look very distorted and uh, hard to look at. So that was that for this one. Uh, clips in at the end, as usual. Thanks for watching, everybody. Is it a dog? Is it a bear? Is it... Let's give you one last look at that. What is it? Is it just a rock? But it, it does seem to have texture. Uh... It does have a sort of skin, like a wrinkly skin-like texture. What is it? What sort of animal is it? Answers on the postcard as usual. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you soon.